sirens so it's not potentially controversial content this is just talking about censorship and uh, I, I do find it uh, very uh, paradoxical that you can be censored for your ideas but not um, not anything else your your ideas are worth censorship Everything else has to be open and accepted, but ideas. And I think that's crazy. Uh, screw it. This is a black hat commentary. <laughs> so I'll add the sirens at the beginning because do they have the right to censor? Sure they do. All those platforms that are censoring people right now, like Facebook and Twitter, they have right to do that. Now, I don't know how businesses that provide services have the right to censor people. That will be an interesting court battle. And maybe the president's um, appointment of all those judges will help fight that. Because here's the big thing they'll do. They will financially isolate you and make you virtually impoverished by your inability to exercise financial freedom and purchasing power. I mean, what good does it do Trump if he has billions of dollars if he can't spend them? What good does it have all that wealth if the people who provide services or commodities lock you out? And I guess they can. I mean, I guess that's legal. I, I really don't know. But that's what they're doing. And that, that should frighten everybody. Because if they can get away with it with Trump... They will try it with anybody who displeases them. This is the great lesson of the left. Yeah, this is definitely black hat commentary. I didn't think it would be, but it is. So fitting that the siren is out in front. But it's crazy. And um, I'll be loading this up to locals first and then YouTube. And that's slowly moving away from YouTube. Um I, I will use it for music and for podcasts, but I don't want to contribute anything to it myself. Not that they care about me anyway. I'm a nothing in their, uh, in their uh, planning. But doesn't that make you wonder about censorship? How, how can these companies, how can their CEOs and their boards do it in good conscience when they talk about an open environment and yet um, clearly they are close to all kinds of ideas? And to use the D.C. riot, which it was, it was a riot, as the textbook example is just total B.S. When you have uh, volumes of leftist activities, far worse. I know it sounds like whataboutism, but I don't care. Some whataboutism does have facts, so get over it. Whataboutism doesn't disqualify anything if you can't answer it. It's like, I just refuse uh, to acknowledge you. Okay, well, that doesn't stop their claims. Just tells me you're some sort of asshat that can't uh, deal with questions or disagreements. So we'll see how this all plays out. I believe the best part of censorship is they just lose their base. I hope Facebook and Twitter suffer financial ruin in the United States. I hope enough conservatives say, screw it, I'm going to other platforms. I highly recommend locals. Ruben Report is excellent over there if you want to get engaged in cultural and political commentary, moderate to uh, right-leaning. Phetasy is great. It is a free-range community, so you can meet lefties there. Although not lefties, probably more, more liberals. But you'll meet a lot of people who are very critical of the MAGA movement. So if you're, you know, if you're a... a prone to cult worship of Donald Trump, you will like fetishy because uh, they they sacrifice the sacred cows over there and make hamburgers out of them on a regular basis. But they do it to the left, too. Free range, and that's what I like about it. 
one of the things I really appreciate about uh, Bridget Fennessy and uh, her uh, her platform. Then I've uh, I support Scott Adams over at Locals, but I don't visit this site much. I support Trigonometry, and I do support their site because I believe the two of them are just starting out and want to see them do well. And then lately I have joined Tulsi Gabbard's local because uh, I'm hopeful for more politicians like her. Anyway, that's enough for now. It's good to be back home, and I'll be putting these up on a regular basis. Happy Sunday, everybody. God bless.